Hi, it's Mary Beth Shaw from Stencil Girl Products. We are going to use scratch board today. And this is what the package of scratch board looks like. This package is what I bought that included 10, um, 10 different pieces of the scratch, scratch board. And here is what they look like. They are just black pieces of board, okay? And what you can do is scratch them, duh, hence the name scratch board, right? So here's a little piece of the scratch board, and I have these tools where you can scratch, you can write, you know, that sort of thing. There's different types of tools. This is kind of a, this one makes a really bad sound, like nails on a chalkboard sound. Arr. After a bad day, it's not, it's not such a bad way to go though. And then this tool I really like because it just has a little pointed tip, which is quite nice. And you can get a lot of detail with that one. Okay. But, um, so anyway, okay, so there's such a thing as real scratch art, and it's a real official art, and it's really high end. We're going to do a little variation of it, and we're going to do it with stencils. And we are going to use these three tools that are made by Ampersand. And they are the people that make the real scratch board that's black, that's a real solid board and um, it's really a nice product. All right. what we're so this is just a greeting card, one of those Strathmore cards, a five by seven. Then I cut down the scratch board to a three by five size so that I could, I figure, well, I'll work on this and then mount it on this and I can always then stencil the background before I mount this, okay? I've got a couple stencils. I have this one that I like and then I thought it might be cool to put a striped background in back of it. So this is um, one of June Path Daily's new stencils. So what I think I'm going to do is do this center part first. Now, if I were smart, I would have the blue tape and tape this down. And clearly, I am not. But I'm going to run and get some really fast, so don't go anywhere. Sometimes, if I have a big project with scratch board, what I will do is I will take the scratch board and the stencil and I'll put it, I'll attach it to a clipboard and then I can work on it, you know, without it moving. I'll have it taped down and have a rigid surface and I can work on it. Um, that way I can work on it in the evening as I'm watching you know, brainless TV. I know you hear me say this. You must think, oh my God, that girl watches TV all the time. But here's the thing. I don't mind watching TV if I have something to do with my hands. All right, so I've got it taped down and I taped the stencil and the paper. So nothing is going to move on me. And I am going to start to scratch this design into the paper. So this has, I don't know if you can see it, but it's created like little flakes. I just blew them off. And I think I did all the parts. So I'm gonna pull this up. Oh, I didn't do the middle part. Well, that's interesting. Huh, let's just leave it that way, right? Doesn't look bad. So this is what I have so far. And then what I had thought I wanted to do. Let's see. What about stripes? How big do we want them is the question. I think maybe I'll do like this. Now you notice that I'm kind of sticking to straight scratching motifs. 
because there's it's easier I'm just gonna say it it is easier if you get into really intricate scratching I mean I'm sure you can do it I know people do it but I it seems to me like there's a little bit of a, um, a tooth to the scratch board or to the paper that you use and I'm just not sure that I have the aptitude to pull off an intricate stretching or an intricate scratching thing you know and that's why I tend to pick designs that are more um, they're more straight uh oh could have taped that down there all right there we go so now I've got the stripes behind I am not loving what did I do there I must have missed one did I miss one Rot raw Oh no, how did I do that? Okay, I guess I just missed one. Okay, good. I'm like, oh no. All right, so now I have the stripes on there, and this is where you could doodle or create any interesting kind of motif that you want in the background here. You know, you could just doodle to your heart's content. But I want to show you what I do next. So my favorite pens to use for this are the Faber-Castell. And I'm going to show this off because this is like the box to die for. I mean, I don't know if you can see how these all come out, all the colors. They're so fantastic. So I'm going to sit them right there. And then I have some fatter ones, too. And what I like is that you can just go into where you've got your white lines and you can color with these markers because you've scratched down to that um, the white part so you get to just color it in now which I mean talk about easy So now I've got some color down, and you can see how this is coming along. I'm going to hold it up a little bit closer so you can get a better look at it. And you can see how the color comes up. Now what is so cool when you're at this point is that you can decide to do as little or as much as you want more. I mean, you'll notice I've covered all the white parts. So let's say I want to put some more white parts back in now. Well, let's put some little white circles in the middle of these guys. You know, now whatever I carve, I can leave it white or I can color more. I can just do whatever I want. So I'm adding some additional detail in here and I can pop the additional detail with more colors. I think you are getting the idea. I'm gonna, okay, I'm gonna use the big scratching tool now and add some more detail on here. Do you guys see yourselves being able to do this or wanting to do this? I think it's such a simple project. It's like, and um, I mean, you can just easily create little parts for greeting cards. You could also use paint pen on this or um, like those scribbles to add some higher texture if you wanted. Um, really anything you want I mean anything you can think of you could do I think I might put a little bit of paint pen on here actually right why not I do believe I've got some paint pens here I just happen to have a neon Posca because you know I always have a neon Posca oh this is gonna be good some dots
I think you guys have got the idea. What I would love for you to do is, if you liked this video, share it, tell your friends, spread the word, sign up for our newsletter, you know, all that fun stuff, because we have exciting things coming up here within the next couple of weeks, and I wouldn't want you to miss it. 